This man has been on the moon for three years, yet recently, he has been losing hair, and frequently experiences headaches. His physical strength is not as good as before, but he is only 30 years old, and this shouldn't be happening. Fortunately, he only has two weeks left before he can return to Earth. At this moment, he hopes to reunite with his wife as soon as possible. It turns out that Tom has been working alone on the moon for three years. There is no one around for him to communicate with. Only a robot named Xiao Bai keeps him company every day. In fact, his work is still quite easy. He just needs to set up the mining vehicle's work range and figure out how to retrieve the results on time, load them into the launch capsule, and send them to Earth. But the loneliness alone can drive a person crazy. What's worse? From the day he arrived on the moon, the base's communication satellite broke down, which means he couldn't have real-time conversations with Earth. He could only send video emails to relieve his longing for his wife and daughter. The man finally held on for the third year, but an accident suddenly occurred. This day, as usual, he drove to collect minerals. Unexpectedly, he accidentally crashed into a junked vehicle. Tom was injured and passed out. When he woke up, he found that he had been rescued back to the base, but he had completely forgotten everything that happened before. He could only struggle to get out of bed and search for Xiao Bai, but he heard the robot having a video call with the company, but real-time communication had been broken for the past three years. When Tom discovered it, Xiao Bai immediately disconnected the communication and explained that it was just an email sent by the company. Tom also thought he was hallucinating, so he followed the suggestion and went back to the medical room, but Tom had already recovered, but Xiao Bai still wouldn't allow him to work outside. Even though the mining vehicle was full, Xiao Bai wouldn't let Tom go out to retrieve it. Everything was too strange. Tom decided to go out and find out what was really going on. So, he deliberately punctured the air pipe. Then, he used an oxygen leak as an excuse, and demanded immediate exit from the capsule for repairs.